Hi, I'm Steven Huang, and in this video, I'm going to discuss about lens. Firstly, what is a lens? A lens is an optical device made of glass or transparent plastic material which refracts light and magnifies the image formed. Lenses are used for many things, such as magnifying glasses, eyeglasses, cameras, microscopes, telescopes, and others. Our eyes have lenses too, and so do the eyes of animals like hippos, dolphins, secretary birds, and lions. Types of lenses The first one is convex lens. This type of lens is thicker at the center than the edges or vertices. When parallel light rays pass through this lens, they converge and meet at a point. This is why this lens is also called converging lens, and that point is called the focus or focal point. This is a real focus because it is in front of the lens and the light rays really pass through it. The second type of lens is concave lens, which is thicker at the edges or vertices than the center. When parallel light rays pass through this lens, they diverge or get directed outwards. This is why it is also called diverging lens. Looking at the diverging light rays, they seem to originate at a point behind the lens. This is the virtual focus. It is behind the lens and the light rays don't pass through it. Let's move on to ray diagram. Ray diagram is used to locate the image formed by mirrors and lenses. In this case, let's find out about the ray diagram of lenses. Let's start by drawing a lens and a line. This line is called the principal axis. And this is the vertex. While this point labeled C is the optical center. Now, this point, labeled F, is the focus, and the distance from the optical center to the focus is the focal length. While well, this point, labeled 2F, is called twice the focus, and its distance from C to 2F is the radius of curvature. The radius of curvature is twice the focal length. And the same applies to the other side of the lens. This is the eye of the observer. And obviously, the object must be placed at the opposite side of the lens. And the object may be moved along the principal axis. Now, Let's continue to the example for convex lens. Let's say the object is located outside 2F or beyond twice the focus. First, we draw a line from the tip of the object to the lens. And then we extend from that point at the lens through the focus. In this case, convex lens has a real focus, so we extend it through the real focus. Now draw another line from the tip of the object through the optical center. Now the intersection between these two lines is the tip of the image formed. Here, the image is real because it is in front of the lens and it is smaller compared to the object and it is inverted. Let's move on to the example for concave lens. Let's say the object is located between the focus and 
twice the focus. Like before, we draw a line from the tip of the object to the concave lens. Then we extend it through the virtual focus because it is a concave lens. So we extend it through the virtual focus. Now the backward extension of this line must be represented as broken line because it is an imaginary line. The light ray doesn't actually pass through this point. Now I'll draw another line from the tip of the object through the optical center and the intersection between this line and the broken line is the tip of the image that is formed. Here, the image is virtual because it is behind the lens and it is smaller and upright. Alright, after learning the ray diagram of lenses, you might be wondering if it is accurate or at least correct. So I can prove it with an experiment because I have a magnifying glass and it is a convex lens. So uh, I did an experiment with it and I'll show you what I did. So here is a magnifying glass and we need to find its focal length first. We can focus sunlight and measure the distance between the lens and the floor. Or we can use an emergency light but place it far away so that the light rays reaching the lens are as parallel as possible so that we can measure the focal length more accurately. Now here is the object used in this experiment. Let's start with this setup where the object is placed outside twice the focus. According to this ray diagram, the object should be real, smaller, and inverted. And yes, we can see that it is smaller and inverted. Next, the object is placed at twice the focus. Here is the ray diagram. And this is the observed image, same size and inverted. Next, the object is placed between the focus and twice the focus. This is the ray diagram and this is the observed image, bigger and still inverted. Next, the object is placed at the focus. The ray diagram shows no image formed, but here there is an image, so I think the focal length measurement was a bit inaccurate. Next, the object is placed between the focus and the lens. This is the ray diagram and this is the observed image, bigger and upright. Lastly, here is the summary of the experiment with the object being moved starting outside twice the focus until the lens. Okay, that's it for the experiment. Are you convinced already? Well, at least now you know that the ray diagram is not wrong and you don't need to worry about learning a wrong thing. Anyway, let's move on to the sign convention. For convex lens, the focal length is positive because it has a real focus. While for concave lens, the focal length is negative because it has a virtual focus. For the distance of the object, it is always negative because we put the object behind the lens. And for the size of the object, it is always positive because 
we put the object upright for the distance of the image for concave lens I mean for a convex lens it is positive when the image is real but negative when the image is virtual while for the size of the image for convex lens the size of the image is positive if it's upright but negative if it's inverted for concave lens the distance of the image is always negative while the size of the image is always positive as you can see in the ray diagram below Now let's move on to the lens equations. There are two equations here and let's find out how it is derived. Derivation of the lens equations. Here is a ray diagram of a convex lens with an object placed outside twice the focus. As you can see, the size of the object is positive, while the distance of the object is negative. And the distance of the image is positive, while the size of the image is negative. Now, we need to find pairs of congruent triangles. Congruent triangles mean the triangles that are the triangles that have the same angle sizes so can you see it okay the first pair is triangle ACG and triangle CDE so the height of a uh, triangle ACG over uh, over its base so SO over negative DO is equal to the height of triangle CDE over its base so negative SI over DI so SO over negative DO equals to is equal to negative SI over DI we just multiply both, both sides with negative 1 then we switch di and so and we get si over so equals di over do and this is the first equation now let's look for another pair of congruent triangles now the the second pair is triangle BCF and triangle DEF and using the same method we get SO over F is equal to negative SI over DI minus F so we switch the places of SO and DI minus F so we get negative SI over SO equals DI minus F over F now SI over SO is equal to DI over DO so we just substitute it so negative DI over DO equals DI minus F over F and we mult we cross multiply so negative di f equals to uh, equals do di minus do f and we mut we divide all of them with do di f and we get negative one over do is equal to 1 over f minus 
1 over di so we switch it to the other side 1 over f equals 1 over di minus 1 over do and this is the second equation okay let's go to problem solving a 5.4 cm object is placed 32.5 cm from a convex lens from its lens axis. If its focal length is 21.0 cm, how far is the image from the lens? What type of image is formed? How tall is the image? What is the position of the image? Okay, firstly, we write down the given. So the size of the object is 5.40 cm. It is positive because we place the object upright. While well, for the distance of the object, we place it behind the lens, so it is negative. So DO equals negative 32.5 cm. For the focal length, this is a convex lens, so it is positive, like in the in the sign convention. So f equals twenty one point zero centimeters. Okay, the first question is how far is the image from the lens? So it is asking for the distance of the image. So we have DO and F. That means we can use the equation 1 over F equals 1 over DI minus 1 over DO. So we just put in the numbers 1 over 21.0 equals 1 over DI minus 1 over negative 32.5. It is equal to 1 over di plus 1 over 32.5 now we switch it to the other side so 1 over di equals 1 over 21.0 minus 1 over 32.5 and we finish the calculation and we get di equals 59.3 centimeters the second question is what type of image is formed the distance of the image is positive so it is a real image next how tall is the image okay we already have the size of the object the distance of the image and the distance of the object so we need to find the size of the image so we can use the equation si over so equals di over do we just put in the numbers so si over 5.40 equals 59.3 over negative 32.5 so si equals negative 9.85 centimeters it is negative which means the the image is inverted okay that's it for the discussion thank, thank you, you for, for watching listening. goodbye